Welcome to the Late Night Bites Holiday Special 2018. And now, your host, Not Laney's Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the holiday show. It's great to have you here. It's it's a great time of year, isn't it? I love this time of year. The little kids are so excited. Love to go to the mall and watch them, especially when they're with Santa Claus. Their eyes get so big and they get so excited. You know, a lot of people don't actually realize, but that's not how Santa started out. Santa actually started out as an English teacher. <laughs> Believe it or not, Santa was an English teacher. The problem was he did not like working for other people, so he made a very poor subordinate clause. He actually moved on from there, uh, tried to use his writing abilities, and actually put out several elf help books. I bet that wasn't too successful either. Now, most people don't realize that Santa was actually the very first rapper. Just a special gift that Santa has. <laughs> now, of course, the holidays are celebrated in different ways all over the world. Even, even uh, Tarzan celebrates Christmas. Tarzan actually has a song right now that's climbing the Billboard Top 100. Jungle Bells. <laughs> and actually, uh, Christmas dates all the way back to Adam. And they actually, they, they dug this out. They found this uh, historically. They, they know that the night before Christmas, Adam actually said, it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> now, and it's a little known fact, too, that uh, astronauts don't actually suffer from athlete's foot. They get mistletoe. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, and, and, and all kidding aside, you know, the, the holidays can be a little bittersweet, too. I was actually, I was doing some last-minute shopping uh, the other day. I was at the mall, and I was in line behind a skunk, and it was, it was just so sad. Have you actually, it was just like that song. You know that song where the little boy wants to buy the shoes for his mother, Aww. and he doesn't have enough money? This is the same thing. It broke my heart. The skunk didn't have enough money for his gift because he only had one cent, and it was bad. <laughs> Well, anyway, we have a great show for you tonight. We have with us tonight Miss Laney from Lunch Bites with Laney. And we also have a special guest. I don't want to tell you who it is. I mean, you can probably figure it out because of the time of year. It's a big time of year for him. We always expect him this time of year. And of course, I've, I've probably said too much already and you figured it out, but I'm not going to give it away. Uh, we're going to be all excited about it. So without any further delay, I'm going to dash over here in a flash, just like Santa, and we'll get started. Okay. Now, our first guest, she's so sweet. You know her from the YouTube sensation Lunch Bites with Lainey, and she, she's adorable, and she really does want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Here she is now, Miss Lainey. I do want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I'd heard that. Do you have a garage to put them in? <laughs> Who's going to give them the massage? <laughs> you know, I love your show. I have to tell you, I love your show. I think you're great. Um, I really, really, really enjoy uh, the banter. You need to talk to your dad, though, because some of the jokes. <laughs> I, think, I think you could do better. Maybe, maybe you could get an actor to play your dad, you know, don't you think? Maybe George Clooney. See if George Clooney's in <laughs> You like this time of year? Good time of year for you? Mm-hmm. Like the holidays? Yep. What do you like to do during the holidays? I like to decorate, do gingerbread houses. Um. Listen to music? Yeah. Christmas music? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you heard that new William Shatner Christmas CD? Yep. What's your favorite song? Mm, either Feliz Navidad or Jingle Bells. Yeah, he, he, he butchers both, but it's a beautiful butchering. I, it's just, <laughs> the, the man understands comedy. Or the one where it's rum pum 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 Yes, and he can't do rum pum pum Yes, he has a difficult time with the little drummer boy, it's true. So you like to decorate. Do you, do you have an elf? Mm-hmm. Where, where was your elf this morning? On a little Barbie couch, fishing for goldfish, the snack kind. And she had a little Barbie bucket filled with the snack goldfish. That's, well, and you just leave the, what, did you leave your fish out last night? <laughs> yeah. 
they keep those in water. I guess it's the snack fish. <laughs> so you like to decorate. What else? Anything else you like to do during the holidays? Yes, I really love to watch holiday specials. Oh, I love holiday specials too. What are your favorites? Albert and... Albert? Like Albert who? The Christmas tree. The oh, Albert the Christmas tree. That is a good one. I've seen that one. I like that one. Albert mm -hmm. the Christmas tree. What else? And Charlie Brown Christmas. The Charlie Brown Christmas. I, I've never actually seen the Charlie Brown Christmas. <laughs> you, you know that's not true, right? I'm a huge Charlie Brown fan. Yeah. So why do you like Albert so much? I like Albert because I like the message in it, which is even when you're small, you can do big things. That's, that's a nice message. I, I agree. I like how they travel and they get through all of these situations and they have like the little cactus and he's trying to get them because the cactus gets thrown out and then a beautiful Christmas tree comes in during Christmas. Right, so, so the, the mm -hmm. cactus actually gets the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm needling you, sorry. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a really fun special. Do you like the animation in that one? It's a different kind of animation. Yeah. I've heard you don't care for that kind of animation, that sort of 3D, but you like it in that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think it's fun. I like the characters. Albert's a good character. Yeah. I and, also like the weed. Yes. Yes. The weed is extremely funny. I agree. If I could have a part in that, I would want to be the weed. I agree. Yes. Of course, you got to watch out for the weed eaters. But. <laughs> and you liked, what was, oh, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Mm -hmm. Now. Is that just a, a, a perennial favorite? You like to watch it every year, or you know, what, what do you like about that? It's kind of a family tradition, but I also love Snoopy and Charlie Brown and like this whole setup of the story. Yeah, I agree. And it's very funny to me. Yes, and it's you know it, it's such a product of its time too because when they go looking for the Christmas tree. That was a time period. And it was only a brief time period where a, a lot of Americans bought aluminum. Christmas trees. Now that's before my time and certainly before your time. But, uh, and I actually had to look that up on Wikipedia and of course if you find it on the internet it's true. So I actually looked up, have you ever looked up the aluminum Christmas trees? No I They're haven't. Very unique looking, you, sh you should do that, it's very interesting. Um, I, I love Christmas specials too. I think probably, well of course I love Charlie Brown like you do, but uh, Garfield, the, have you ever seen the Garfield Christmas special? Mm -hmm. I find that that's right out of the 1980s, that's when I was a kid. Uh, and and it's, it's such a, a nice story to it, but it's really funny. You know, mm -hmm. Garfield and Odie and John uh, go back home to the farm where John is uh -huh. from. And, but it, it's got sort of a gift of the magi kind of thing going on because Garfield, mm -hmm. uh, Odie makes a gift for Garfield. And meanwhile, Garfield finds something to give to Grandma because Grandma's kind of down in the dumps because she's missing her husband and different things. Mm -hmm. So it's it's got that, but it's such it's such a nice. I, I find. Do you like that story? Yeah. I, I find that I love that one. And uh, probably movie wise, uh, I love a, a bunch of movies. Actually, there's a new one, uh, Christmas Chronicles with Kurt Russell. Mm -hmm. uh, he plays Santa Claus in that one. Have yeah. you seen that one? That's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I, you know, that's a newer one, and I watched it the other day, and th I think that's a quality Christmas film. I really enjoyed that a great deal. I think he makes a great Santa. He's got some great lines in it. Does a really good job. But probably uh, one of my favorite lesser-known Christmas films would be one called The Bishop's Wife. Have you ever heard of that one? Mm -mm. No, that's an, it's a... Uh, they remade it uh, in, in uh, uh, some years back with Denzel Washington in it, and it's called The Preacher's Wife. And he plays the part that Cary Grant actually plays in The Bishop's Wife. Cary Grant, he plays, he's basically an angel. And he mm -hmm. does things, there's a, there's a bishop, and uh, he doesn't realize it, but his marriage has become a little distant, and he's, he's, he used to be a very good man who cared about the parish. And it's not that he's not a good man anymore, but he's fixated on getting this beautiful cathedral built. Mm -hmm. And he's focused on that and the material things instead of uh, what he should be focused on, which is his family and the people of the parish, because mm -hmm. that's, that's, the real, that's the real cathedral that he should be building is the people in the parish. So Cary Grant plays an angel who's sent down to kind of help him find the right way. So it's, it's a different variation kind of on It's a Wonderful Life. I'm sure you've heard of You've probably seen It's a Wonderful Life, maybe. Yeah. 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 Little parts of it. So. And I understand that you and I actually share a favorite. My very, very favorite Christmas movie, and I've heard it's one of yours, is... 
White Christmas. White Christmas, absolutely. Uh, Bing Crosby, Danny Kaye, uh, Rosemary Clooney, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the, you know George Clooney. That's it. That's his aunt. So George Clooney, who plays your father on the new Lunch Bites with Laney show, that would be. Yeah, so. And uh, Vera Ellen, she's in it. Uh, what do you like about White Christmas? Because if you ask me, we're going to be here all day. But what do you like about White Christmas? I like what it's called, but I think my favorite part that I really enjoy and I really like is when the two sisters do the dance and they're in the peacock like, Oh yeah, the big thing. fans, the big fans in the blue yeah. dresses, yes, uh, the sister's number, it's mm -hmm. the sister's number. And that's one actually that then later, because they're, they're, they're fleeing from the, from the sheriff, uh -huh. uh, so to, to, to buy time for them, uh, Bing Crosby and Danny Kaye's characters have to perform the sister's number later. Yeah. And you can watch, if you watch that number really closely, Bing Crosby can't keep a straight face. He's la that's a legitimate laughing. Danny Kay kept making him laugh on, on I set. I haven't seen that. Maybe yeah. I can. Now, now you are, are you aware that White Christmas is actually, it's a sequel in a way. Uh, there was a film called Holiday Inn, which is actually, as I understand it, where the, the Holiday Inn hotel chain gets its name from. But there was a film called Holiday Inn, and it's the first time we actually hear the song White Christmas, because Bing Crosby is in that film, mm -hmm. and he sings the song White Christmas. And basically, he has this inn up in the New England area, and it's only open on the holidays. So every holiday, they do a show there, and people come from New York City and every place to see the show at this quaint little inn in New England. And so they'll do a show on Valentine's Day, and they'll do a show on the 4th of July, and of course, Christmas, he sings White Christmas. And his co-star in that is Fred Astaire. The great dancer and so they're rivals uh, fred astaire is constantly trying to steal bing crosby's leading lady from him so bing crosby's trying to find ways to to hide her so so that fred astaire can't do that and actually white christmas was supposed to star bing crosby and fred astaire again they wanted fred astaire mm. to come back but he was unavailable so that's how danny Kaye winds up in the movie uh -huh. But they're both uh, Irving Berlin musicals, and, and you know, so you should check out Holiday Inn if you haven't seen it, because that's quite good too. It's got a lot I of good. I will, because now I'm kind of. Now you're curious. Yeah. <laughs> curious. So, what are the big any big plans for Lunch Bites with Laney moving forward? Um, yeah, yeah. in a way. That was a secret. You're gonna have an on location shoot. I heard. I heard that you're such a big star that maybe you'll take your dad, maybe like to Disney World or maybe Hawaii. Or Italy, maybe do a shoot on location. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know what? Why don't don't you pay for it? Get your dad to pay for it. All right. Okay. Tell your dad you think you need a location shoot somewhere in the tropics. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Laney from Lunch Bites with Laney. You want to stick around for our special guest? Yes, sir. Yeah, the big guy is coming. All right. So we'll be back in a few minutes with our special guest right after this. Bethlehem, Israel, a town in the West Bank, full of charming bed and breakfasts and quaint shops. It's where you go when you need a stable environment. Thousands of people make the pilgrimage each year, and December is Bethlehem's busiest season. But if you're going, you'd better bring along your Visa card, because they don't accept anything else. Visa, accepted in more locations than any other credit card. If you don't have it, there will be no room for you at the end. <laughs> All right, welcome back. It's the moment I know you've been waiting for. We've been waiting for it. It's that time of year. It's his time of year. It's a big time for him. Every year at this time, we all hope he's going to show up. We hope we're going to see him. We're all over the Internet talking about it. It's all we talk about, seeing this guy this time of year. Here he is, the one. The only, the big guy, Darth Vader. We're so excited to have you here. I mean, this was not easy. We had to do a lot of negotiating and special deals had to be struck. So it's great that we were able to make this happen. Pray I don't alter the deal further. Oh, that's a good one. You're slaying me. <laughs> See what I did there? So, 
Interesting time of the year for you now. Do you uh, do a lot of holidays celebrating on Mustafar? I mean, it's, it's very red on Mustafar. Everything's red. A lot. Do, do you add green to make it more festive? Decorations do not concern me. You ever go to Hoth? Now, there's no life on Hoth, so how do, you, how do you achieve a Christmas tree? Do you bring your own in? Does the Emperor send some in from Endor? Get one cut down from Endor and bring it in, like Rockefeller Center kind of thing? Yeah. Probably costs a lot of wampa. So you, uh, Chris, now Christmas, do you, you have the kids for Christmas Eve or Christmas? We alternate. I have them on Christmas Eve this year. Yeah. Now do, you, are you, now do you sneak a peek at the presents or do you like, do you shake them? Are you one of those people? I always know what the twins have gotten me because I have felt their presence. That's interesting. I never thought of that. You're an online shopper? Where do you, where do, you do your Christmas shopping? I shop at the Darth Mall. <laughs> well, you know, that's great because that's sort of a, that's something that's n dying in America, so I'm glad that you support it. That's a, that's a wonderful thing. And uh, Christmas cards must be interesting. Do you, do you actually, do you send out Christmas cards? Is the emperor still on your Christmas card list? <laughs> that name has no meaning for me. Sorry, too soon? Well, you did give him the shaft. Literally. Sorry, I'm just ribbing ya. <laughs> I find your lack of humor disturbing. That makes no franken sense. <laughs> all right, we're all friends here, Darth. And uh, I think maybe you could let us in on this. Every year, you know, we look forward to seeing you. Every December, we think this is the year we're going to see you. Can we expect to see you, perhaps, in 2019? <laughs> Maybe in December? <laughs> Specifically December 19th? Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Do you hear what I hear? And remember, you heard it here first. Well, you know, you've been very giving being here, and we, we got something for you we wanted to give back. This is something we hope you're really going to enjoy. I picked it out special. The Kinetic Sand Castle Set. Enjoy. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. Well, thank you for spending some of your holidays with us. Have a great night, and we hope you get a ton, ton of gifts. Chewy. A little.